What's up guys, More Medic One here. Today we're working on a John Deere 930M commercial zero turn. And the issue is the customer, when he's, you know, mowing with it, he says the deck turns off and then immediately after the engine will shut off. Normally nine times out of 10, you're gonna get a code and let me show you what the code is. The code is gonna be a one dash three. So whenever your little wrench over here lights up, this wrench, the light will flash once and then three flashes. Once and then three flashes. So basically that's doing, that's gonna, it's basically telling you one of two things. Either your uh, seat switch isn't working correctly or you went over a bump and you came off the seat momentarily and it shuts the blades off. That's the way it's designed or you've left the PTO switch on and then turned the mower off. One of those two scenarios, but 99 times out of 100, it's gonna be a seat switch issue and it's probably not the switch itself, but I want you to look at the way that they mount this switch. So if you take a look at the seat switch, and I'm gonna kind of pan you in there and let's see if I can get a better shot. You see how this bracket is kind of bowed towards me a little bit, kind of like coming this away. That seat switch should be flat across there. And as you see how it has this seat switch bowed a little bit. Now this happens a lot with some of your heavier operators. And whenever the seat switch bows like this or the bracket bows, then you get a lighter operator and it's gonna be a lot more finicky on a lighter operator. So what we gotta do, we gotta remove the seat switch. We're going to actually just have to brace, basically get a hammer and hammer that back in place and hope for the best and just note the ticket that, hey, you know, you're gonna have to have a new seat before long. And also check this stiffener plate right here. This metal bar runs all the way through the seat to the seat switch so no matter where you sit on this seat you're going to be trying to actuate it and if you sit if you look right here I'm moving that seat with my hand and we're not doing hardly anything to that switch right there so let's get this switch out of here and get this bracket put like it's supposed to be and we'll see how it turns out Pretty simple. You can just get it with a regular Phillips screwdriver. Just loosen both screws. So here's the new seat switch and you can tell that that is straight across and not warped. And here's the old switch. Looks how it's got a a bow right in the middle that's not helping us one bit As you can tell it's gonna it's trying to act like it wants to hang up in there because it's all warped that's part of the problem but the main issue is the warped seat bracket see this one works flawless This one's kind of getting cocked to one side and not working too swift. All right, let's do a little test fit here. Looks good. Nothing binding up. Let's go ahead and cinch the screws down. This is upside down. Go ahead and tighten this switch back down and let's take it for a test spin. I'm gonna reach my hand around. I'm gonna hit the seat somewhere around in here. As we can tell, that seat switch is working a whole lot better.
it, guys. Hey, we got that John Deere going one more time. And like I said, this is a common issue on the Z Track uh, John Deere riders. Uh, like I said, that seat switch can go bad, uh, that bracket can go bad, the switch itself can sometimes get a piece of grass stuck in between the contacts and it don't work right. This will work on a plethora. It doesn't have to be just John Deere. If you have a riding mower that the blades are disengaging on on you or the engine dies at the same time or vice versa. If the engine dies but the blades are still engaged, sometimes that's how the manufacturers wire it. It'll just kill the engine and uh, it'll kill the blades at the same time, but you're not killing electricity to the clutch. Uh, in this case, it kills, whenever you get up off the seat, it kills the power to the clutch and then the module senses that there's no no operator and then it kills the engine. But anyway, guys, have a good day and we'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're new to this channel, I noticed that I've been getting a lot of new subscribers and I appreciate that a whole bunch. Y'all have a good day. More Medic One.